So you want to be a rock hopper, eh? Today I'm going to take you on a tour of what your first day is going to look like as a rock hopper on the Draconis Expanse server. First things first, you're going to spawn in at Medina Station. This is the lobby of the server. So from here you get to see all that the server has to offer and kind of get a introduction to the server. So walk through the metal detectors so you don't have any weapons of course. Plenty of faction ads, cool propaganda, everything around the lobby. Um, in general this is just a super great way to introduce players to the server. First thing you want to do after getting acquainted uh, with the lobby is go ahead and start following the signs. Starter spawns. Use these spawns to begin. Follow that sign, come down here, get some more informational panels, get some useful commands, stuff you can do as a player. And on this side, you get some tips on how to hanger your grids using the quantum hanger. And then here are all the spawns. You have Ceres, Tycho, Vesta, one that's under maintenance, and then Trojan and Greek. And you can see each of these spawns has a danger associated with it and also a little like job to give you some RP there. We're gonna go ahead and take the series spawn. It's one of the safest spawns and it's gonna put you in your series. Click the button and it'll send you to the main server. After a short loading screen, you wake up in your rock hopper. Uh, you probably are waking up from a drunken stupor after kicking your nephew off your ship and you start to get your bearings. Look around your cockpit, you get some more informational uh, tips from the admins here and then some uh, just an overall view of where you are. Once you get out of the ship, you can kind of take a look around, see what's going on here. Looks like a basic rock hopper. You are a belter, living in the belt. You don't have much to your name, but you do have this ship. Got a nice Epstein drive there, got a couple cargo, some RCS thrusters, and an interior. Let's check out the interior. When you head inside, you'll notice that all ships on this server, just like the Expanse, are built vertically with the Epstein at the back or the bottom for thrust gravity. Jumping down, you're in your own personal little living space. You have a couple more LCDs with plenty of information showing you what to do. You have a nice captain's log that gives you some RP for why you are, where you are, doing what you're doing, and also some direction as a new player. Got your bed over here and a map of the server, which is really nice. Also your bathroom, of course. Don't grind the bathroom, it has a gyro attached to it. Uh, here you can kind of see some tasks that you need to get done. Um, and of course, like I mentioned earlier, the map of the server. You can see how the instancing works on the server. We're a multi-server uh, cluster. So, you know, different planets are in different servers. Next thing you want to do is head over to your lockers and go ahead and grab some of the tools that the admins have given you. So you got some nice enhanced tools, which is great because you're going to need them to repair your systems. So in your drunken stupor, you have uh, damaged your Epstein drive and you got to repair it to get underway. So to repair, we're going to head outside and grab some components that we need out of our storage. Gonna go back here and check what we need. Looks like we need construction comps and some other components. Gonna go ahead and grab those. Once our Epstein drive is repaired, we're gonna point ourselves at the nearest asteroid and blast on over there. On this server, Epstein drives can only point in one direction. So if you want to stop yourself, you have to do a flip and burn just like in the Expanse shows and books. So we're doing a flip and burn right now to bring us in on approach to this asteroid that hopefully has something we need. Looks like this asteroid has iron, which is perfect because exactly what we need. Uh, I always recommend getting iron as your first org. You need it for basically everything.
Don't be like me and almost crash into the asteroid here. Be smarter and go slower. Once you get here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and repair your drill. It was also damaged in your drunken stupor. Maybe your nephew broke it and that's why you kicked him off your ship, you know. Once your drill's repaired, go ahead and jump back in your cockpit and start harvesting that iron ore. Your rock copper comes equipped with uh, some basic things to get you going, like a basic refinery. So basically what you want to do is fly around to a bunch of different asteroids and grab all the ores you need uh, to get yourself going. After you have everything you need, you want to fly away from all known asteroids. Uh, it's ideal to get, you know, 60 to 100 kilometers away from the nearest asteroid. Uh, the belt is frequently patrolled by pirates and other people looking to take what is yours. So once you get out of there, you can start building a base and settle down. Once you get out into a deeper section of space that's not near any asteroids, you want to go ahead and start constructing yourself a base. I'm going to speed things up here and just uh, kind of show you what I have. So this is just a basic uh, deep space base that has a dedicated miner for trips to and from the nearest asteroids. Uh, and then it also has an industrial uh, grid there that kind of just sits in space. You know, it has eight refineries, eight assemblers, a bunch of cargoes, a bunch of hydrogen, some H2O2s, etc. And what you want to do is just take that miner and make trips back and forth to the belt to survive. And eventually you want to start doing trade runs, all the trade stations, and then go participate in PvP at the King of the Hill point. Um, and then go to the ring space and do water runs, etc. Um, so yeah, that's your life as day one in the belt as a rock hopper. Link is in the description if you're just watching this and want to play on the server. And if you are new to the server, hope this helps you on your way to becoming a true belter.